Hey y'all, it's me, Michael Mitchell, back with another YouTube video. So the topic of my video is Jada Pika Smith and Will Smith have been separated since 2016. So no further ado, here I go. Let's do this. Okay. So I just found out on Facebook that Jada and Will have been separated since 2016. So that's like seven years. So that was like a eye opener for me and a little and it, it kind of shocked me too and surprised me. Like if y'all been if if Jada and Will has been separated since 2016, then why did they went to the Ox why did they went to the Ox to the Ox to the Oscars together as a couple. That that kind of confused me a little. I don't know if they went if they went there on just friends or on a or they went together as a couple. Even though they even though they even though both of them know damn well they are separated. Like that confused me and did it have something to do with did it have something to do about it? By them being separated since 2016, did it have something to do with Jada's little, 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 did it have something to do with Jada little, little fling with August Alcina or, or they just weren't happy like they once were? I don't know. You tell me. So, and she's working on a book right now, a memoir, which nothing wrong with that, but, and, and they, and they held it together so secretly. I didn't even know it. I didn't even know they were, I did not know that they were, they had been separated. I didn't know that. But, but I think it's. I don't, I don't know what to think right now, but she keep mentioning Tupac. Then she turn. Then she says that Tupac was her soulmate. Like, why you keep saying that Tupac is your soulmate? What 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 did you mean by that? I know that I look. I'm aware that her and Tupac know know each other. They they went to school together. They know each other. But when you call somebody your soulmate, like, what do you mean by that? Do you mean that as a friendship way or like, do you, do you mean it that you had a crush on him? Like, these are the things that, these are the things that she need to be, that she need to be, these are the things that she need to be asking herself. What, why, like, these are the things I'm asking. What do you mean by that? But, cause you keep saying, but you, you told, you told this interviewer, interviewer that, Tupac was your soulmate. What do you mean by that? Like, do you mean that that? Do you mean it that he he was my soulmate because he was my best friend, or do you mean that he was my soulmate because I have a crush on him? Like, these I I don't know. I'm confused by why you keep why you said that he was your soulmate. And and my thing is this: like, what like? So many people, so many couples are getting divorced now. Marry, marriage is not lasting longer. Everybody, everybody and their mama, like everybody and their mama is getting divorced. GZ is getting a, getting a divorce from this Asian woman that he's been, that he's been married to. Like, what's the point of getting married? But it's not going to last, it's not going to last a long time. I respect married couple who have a wonderful relationship like Kurt Russell and Goli Hong. They have a good relationship. They are even though even though they're not married, but they have kids together. They became grandparents together. Like Warren Beatty and his wife, Annette Benny, they have a good relationship. Denzel Washington and his wife, they have a good relationship. They have a good relationship. They are a great couple. 
Samuel L. Jackson and his wife, they are they are a lovely couple. They they are still together. Like people don't people are so rushed to get married just because just because just because for the rush of it. But it don't last long. That was bothering me. I didn't even know. I did not know that they were separated. I didn't even know. I didn't know. But I'm starting and I think the reason why that she and Will Smith are are has been separated because too many people are in their business. Too many people are in their business. So much. Too many people are in their business. Like they're always on. They don't they don't do they don't do all of that with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. They don't do all of that when they don't do all that when they don't do this to Warren Betty and Warren Betty and Annette Betty. They don't do that. They don't do that with Denzel and his wife. They don't do all that with Samuel L. Jackson and his wife. But they only do it to Will and Jada. Too many people are in their business. And she is the cause of that too. By allowing people, by allowing people in their business so much. Like, that's like, I think that falls behind on her. And and I've been hearing about about Jada disrespecting Will, and I I'm pretty sure she was like 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 we don't know what we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on between them behind closed door. But when when they do this little red top stuff, I don't I don't watch that. I don't watch her little I don't watch her red talks, her red talk table. Where does she have? Where does she have? Where wherever this little talk show that she had on social media this red top table i don't watch that stuff but it's sad that they are they are separated but too many people are in their business and and jayla is the cause of that because she keeps allowing people in their business like now i know that will smith don't do all that he don't allow people in their business. Whatever they got going on, it's between her and Will. But the cause of it that too many people are in their business. And she is the cause of it by disrespecting Will. On our little on our little red top table or or this little fling that she got with August Alcina. I don't know what's going on with Jada, but she needs to get her act together and get her mind right real quick. And try to focus on try to focus on being a positive person. I don't think she's not being a positive person right now when when people are saying that she is disrespecting Will for something. But I think that I I pray that her and Will will find a way to work things out in the future. You know, that's all I have to say about the situation, but it's sad that it had to come to this since they've been since they've been separated since 26, 2016. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. But so many people are getting divorced now, getting separated. For Oh my God, boy! I tell you, I don't know what's going on with these several celebrities not finding love, not finding happiness, unless, unless they are separate because Jada got bored with Will or Will got bored with Jada. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with. I don't know what's going on with Will and Jada right now. I mean, separate since for seven years. I don't know because it, it's it's a lot. To, it's a lot. To, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot. It's a lot of things that's 
that's going on in their relationship that they're not discussing. Cause she's only telling, she only telling like any big pieces of what's going on. She's not telling the real truth. But it's a shame that they are separated, and I just now find out about it. I didn't even know that. Cause when they went to the Oscars, when they went to the Oscars together, I thought they were still together. I didn't even, I didn't, like, I didn't even know. I did not know. I did not know when they were separated, but what they still went to the Oscars together as a date. As a, I don't know if if they were separated for seven years, then why did they went to the Oscars t together? Oh my lord. Life's a trip nowadays, but but maybe they just went there as a date or as a friendly couple. You know, but one or two, but it's sad, but but I hope that they find the cure, find the courage, find the encouragement to work things out in the future. But it's sad, but none of this would happen if if Jada didn't allow too many people getting here to her business by her allowing people in her business. But it is what it is. So that's all to say about the situation. This is this is Michael back with another YouTube video, and I'll be back with another YouTube video. All right, stay safe. Thank God for the blessings he has put to your life. And always remember, think positively. Never think negative. And let today be yours. Team positive.